Hey guys, I thought I would record a little update video to let you know about something. Things are going to get a little bit messy for the next couple of days, maybe up to the next up to the next up to the next week. Because I am going to start uploading videos of me doing little bonus challenges in the previous Resident Evil games up to Resident Evil 3. And whatever else is offered in the future Resident Evil games, but that's down the line. So, once I finish uploading the finale of Resident Evil 3, which is the next video to be uploaded, shortly after that, maybe like a day after or something, I'm going to start uploading videos of me doing the challenges in, you know, Resident Evil 0, getting the good ending in Resident Evil 1, um, going for an S rank in Resident Evil 2, and also trying out the campaigns sometime after that. Um, going for the bonuses and uh, unlocking things in the shop in Resident Evil 3 and trying out, you know, um, things like uh, Hardcore, Nightmare, possibly Inferno. And I would like to let you all know that the bonus, uh, the episode of me getting all the bonus challenges done is going to come first. And I actually got a lot of things that would really that would really help me out, like like um, hit pouches, at, uh, assault coins, defense coins, recovery coins, stuff like that. I even managed to get my hands on the rocket launcher, but of course you'll see the whole process of me getting all these points to do so. I wanted to mention this because, also, if you see this thing downloading, that's because I'm currently trying to download. Uh, Resident Evil 2, because I got kind of mad at one of some of the campaigns because they were really hard. But I'm going to give them an another go. The reason I'm mentioning this is because when I played normal and hardcore, um, or not, not normal, when I played, actually was it normal? I don't know. I think it was. When I played normal and hardcore of Resident Evil 3, the rocket launcher made everything really, really easy, and I kind of breezed through it. And then I thought, you know, hard, normal and hardcore, they did seem very easy because I got the most overpowered weapon. So what I should do is, for Nightmare and Inferno, I should actually try and give myself a real challenge by not using the most overpowered weapon. Which would mean it would of course result in, um, you know, uh, more videos on RE3 and such. And the reason I wanted to bring this up is because it's going to get a little bit confusing and messy with me uploading challenges of previous games, but I'm just going to make it perfectly clear. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to really appreciate everything that the Resident Evil games offer me. At first, I thought I was just going to play through the game, uh, play through the story and everything and just kind of leave it at that, but I realized Resident Evil is one of my favorite game series, and there is absolutely no way in hell I would just play the story and just let it be that. That would be doing the game a huge disservice. So I went back and I played through each of the games to, you know, get the get the best, get the most out of everything. And I know that a lot of some of it might seem kind of repetitive and redundant, like, oh hey, we've seen this before, there's really nothing new. And this is especially true for the Resident Evil 1 uh, video I'm going to put up, because it's, it's going to be just me, me going through the game to get the good ending. But even still, it really did feel nice for me to make the most of this game series, because there's like a lot of games I have planned, but I just really wanted to sink my teeth into Resident Evil and... Truth be told, I'm having a blast with it. Now, I'm not going to try and completely, perfectly, 100% everything. There are some things I just cannot bring myself to do. But the things I want to attempt, at least, they really give me a sense of the different kinds of atmosphere and feeling and tension that the games really bring me. And this could not be more true in The Ghost Survivors. I don't want to say too much, you'll see what happens as uh, the episodes are uploaded. But one thing I do want to point out is, there will be some videos of me attempting 
uh, a challenge in one video and completing it in another. And the reason I don't just upload the video of me completing it instead of just attempting and failing is because I honestly want to really show that I went through trial and error to succeed and that I wasn't just lucky and that I didn't just like want to cut to the good bits. I wanted like trying and failing like yeah it, it can get kind of old or predictable but seeing how hard I try seeing how I really try to strategize that's the kind of that's the real meat to me I mean you can always just cut the, always just wait until the video comes out where I win but for me I know that some people out there might want to see me really strategize and try to plan what I have to, what I have to do and that's why I would be uploading the videos of, you know, uh, me trying out the challenges that I fail at at first, but maybe eventually succeed. And as for the ghost survivors, I did read that I could actually unlock the fourth challenge, the fourth challenge by completing the other ones in trading mode. Like, it, 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 could, it could be normal mode or training mode, it doesn't matter which. But I still wanted to give the normal modes a run to see just how really intense and difficult they could be. And also of note, uh, kind of kind of related, I read into some articles about why Resident Evil games 5 and 6 also have their legs to stand on, as the article puts it. And it does offer some very nice uh, features. Like, yeah, it's not... Like, it does kind of stray away from the horror, but... It's basically, the article basically said, yeah, it's different, but that doesn't necessarily make it a very bad game. Like, some people might be like, oh, it's not like, it's not like as scary and horrifying as, you know, Resident Evil 4 or Resident Evil 2. And while this may be true, while this may be true, there's still its own little kind of world that it strays into. So, of course, I am go obviously going to still give the games a look, and I am going to be playing them in chronological order. Once I finish uh, uploading everything from Resident Evil 0 to 3, and the Resident Evil 4 demo that I planned, and I know I'm like giving a lot away here, but I want to give as much context as possible to really help you all understand. Co uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica is next, after 3, and I hear that is it is one of the harder uh, Resident Evil games, maybe the hardest, I don't know. But I wanted to explain myself, because the more that all of you guys understand, the more that I can feel at ease. And real quick, um, I know that some of you, I know that one of you guys disliked the video of me trying to fight, uh, Stage 2 Nemesis at the RPD Clock Tower, not the RPD Clock Tower, the, um, I think it was the St. Michael's Clock Tower? I have cut parts of that video out to make it less, um, dull. I, I looked at it and I was like, I reloaded the fight like twice, this is not, they're just watching me struggle and suffer. So I cut, um, I cut it down to like 37 minutes, so I figured I might as well just make it a little less difficult to watch. Uh, what else is there? Um. I'm also waiting for if Resident Evil 4, the remake, ever comes out on sale sometime in the future, because if it does, I absolutely will want to snag it. I will want to get it. I could play the original, but the remake fixes a lot of problems that the original apparently had, <clears throat> and I figure it's also better to really dive into the... if, we, if, we've, do if we've gotten into the whole remake uh, version of things, we might as well see what uh, RE4's remake is uh, is about. And I currently am watching 8-Bit Ryan's playthrough of it because I was really curious. I mean, I've, I've watched the uh, game a while back, and I know the general story and everything, but... So it's not really entirely blind and fresh to me. I have a general sense of what's gonna what's going on. But I also wanted to see if there was anything that would really pique my interest besides just fighting zombies and people. And there is. I'm not going to say what exactly, but there is. Uh, Resident Evil 7 
um, the the base version is like twenty dollars, which I think is really really nice. But I'm still gonna be holding off because I want to play these in chronological order. And the more I get out of these, the more it makes it easier for me to really wait for playing certain ones or getting certain ones. Like I said, I wanted to really look, get this update video out because there's quite a lot I would need you all to basically to really understand. So in short, um, there will be speedruns, bonus videos, uh, campaign challenges, and and the like. <laughs> so, I really hope you all understand, and I can understand if some of you might be left with more questions than answers, but you'll understand things as they go along. Now, some of you might wonder why I didn't just do this after beating the base games to keep things nice and simple. That was because during that time I didn't really think much of the bonus content, but recently I started to think, you know what? I really do want to go back and see what I what I was missing out on. And I feel like a fool for having done it so late. Wow, already 11 minutes. Um I know this isn't I know this isn't exactly the most exciting video and if you made it this far to the video and you've heard that, thank you. But I really wanted to just clarify on on all on all the stuff. Um, for, for, um, Resident Evil 3's N Nightmare in Inferno, uh, if I didn't already say it, I will say it now. I plan on actually giving myself a proper challenge when it comes to that. Because I looked at, I looked at what Nightmare Mode is really about, and even the article I read was basically like, at this point you might have already gone through the game twice. And... You might be, if players might be very comfortable and used to what uh, normal and hardcore offer. Nightmare mode, com basically nightmare mode completely switches things up. And if that's the case, I will most definitely want to, um, you know, not bring out the god mode weapon and just kind of play it the way it was meant to be played to like add real challenge and everything. And that's me saying, that's basically me saying, hey, I have my limits, and I would never want to take away the tension and challenge of a much harder mode. I don't expect to complete it, and if I do, then awesome, but I do definitely want to really see just how much things can be changed up. So I'm gonna go to extra modes here. Oh. It's still installing the extra modes. So yeah. Honestly, I don't think there is much else to say, but I do want to get through the Resident Evil series and see as much of it as I possibly can before we, uh, you know, move on to all the other games and everything. There are some games on the Nintendo Switch Online thing that I would want to try out. But, if my trial expires before then, I can always find a ROM or something. Because they are very old games. So, got a little uh, sidetracked there, but I believe you all understand what I was trying to say here. And, if you watched through this entire video, thank you. I know it was long, and it was probably sounding kind of boring, and it was basically just me explaining myself, but... I felt like I needed to so you all could really understand. So, thank you all for watching and listening, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video.